of YouTube, Facebook Gaming. You guys asked for it. We got the OLED Switch unboxing video right here, right now. We about to get in it. Let's go. So let's let's unbox this bad boy, man. We gotta we gotta flip it from the bottom. And then here you go. Ooh. Here's the two Joy-Cons and the OLED. They give it to you right there. Look at the camera work. Look at the camera work. There you go. We got the white Joy-Cons and the OLED on the top of the Switch. Look at the new stand. Look at the new stand, man. The new stand is crazy. Like, that itself is, like, insane. Because the, the stand that came with the first Switch is, like, a little flop. Ooh, that feels so nice. Here's the white Joy-Cons. Why do you here? Let's place them right there. And so you have your standard stuff here, like the HDMI cable and the power adapter. And of course the grip for the two white Joy Cons. Let's put it in right there. Now you got the little doggy faces on, just like the old Switch. And last but not least, the biggest change was the dock. Now let me tell you guys why the biggest change is the dock. First off, it has more space for your Switch on the inside of the dock. The original dock sometimes was so tight that it will actually scratch the screen of your original Nintendo Switch. That was a big fear that a lot of people had to deal with. And so they would have to get like case covers and be mad delicate with how they put their Switch in the dock and whatnot. And so it was a really scary time when the Switch first came out. And so this back plate comes off automatically. I almost dropped the shit. <laughs> but yeah, the back plate almost feels like it breaks when you take it off. I'm not even gonna lie, but. The dock itself feels more sturdy than the original Switch dock. And it has your standard AC cable, HDMI cable, and it comes in uh, with the Ethernet cable now, and the Ethernet port inside the dock. So a lot of y'all that lag in Smash Bros, you better get this dock. <laughs> All jokes aside, it is a, a sturdy feeling dock that feels a lot more sturdy than the original dock. And yeah. So if you guys see here, take a look at the difference between the stands. This stand is mad floppy. Like if I put it in specific cases, it'll just flop right off. You know what I mean? But this one here is built to last. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. And I know what you're also probably thinking, yo, why the hell do you need three switches? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. This one is the stream switch. I keep this one in the dock and I use it for streaming purposes on um, like Facebook gaming and Twitch. This one is my like portable, it's the smallest one. It's easy to just slip in and out of your pocket and I don't have to worry about either losing this switch that I use for streaming and whatnot or if it gets stolen for whatever reason, I still always have this in my dock ready to go for my streams and whatnot. So I use the switch light for this. This one is just a guilty purchase, I'm not gonna lie. The OLED screen, the better battery life, the better stand. It's just all around better. I want the better, you know, product. So that's why I picked up the OLED. So here is the final look of the OLED inside of the dock. I don't have it hooked up with the wires yet, but I will have that soon to come and whatnot. Back of the, back of the switch OLED. And the, dock. the cool thing about it is if you want to buy the dock alone and don't want to buy the OLED, you can do so and it'll work with the old Nintendo Switch. Just like that, look. Bing. Bing bong. Put the, the original Switch in the new dock too. So guys, look at the differences between the screens, right? So this is the original Switch, right? The one that came out in 2017. This is the highest brightness that you could get for it. This is the Switch Lite, right? It came out, I believe, like maybe two years later. And this is the OLED. I like took off the auto brightness on each one of them, turned the background to white on each one of them, 
And then when I turned off auto brightness on the Switch OLED, it was insane how much more brighter it was than these two consoles here. So the screen is definitely an upgrade. The kickstand is definitely an upgrade. The longer battery life is definitely an upgrade from these two versions of the Switch. And it's, it's such a beautiful console. Uh, they saying that uh, the audio is a little more upgraded than the original two Switches as well. And I think this is such a nice upgrade for uh, tabletop mode and handheld mode. It's so beautiful. So here's the two Switches in action. This is the OLED Fighter Z. I think one of the more better visual games on the console. This is the original. Now you compare, which screen do you like more? Personally, I don't even think it's close. What's cool also is I managed to be able to pick up a, a pouch for the OLED. We're gonna see if it fits into it right now, hold on. Cause this is a little bit longer than the original Nintendo Switch. So we're gonna see, just, we're gonna see. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. And bam, it's snug. Fits, you zipper it up, put it in your bag. If, I mean, if it fits in your pocket, you can put it in your pocket and whatnot, but you know, you gotta have a long pocket. You know what I mean? So it's a nice little case. Uh, it does come with a screen, a screen cover, but I always recommend to get an extra screen protector just to be extra safe, you know what I mean? And last but not least, shout out to Facebook Gaming for inviting me into the real program and help provide to make this video to help provide to buy the Nintendo Switch OLED. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Facebook Gaming, for the awesome opportunity. Peace and love. If you guys are new to this uh, page, either on YouTube or Facebook Gaming, because I'm posting it to both, make sure to hit that sub on uh, YouTube, that like button on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook Gaming, hit that like, hit that share. And if you're new to the page here, hit that follow. Peace, love. I'm out of here. Shout out to Manny for recording the video. He helped me record.